Hello guys, in this video, we'll show you how to fix services grayed out startup type on Windows 11 and 10. Before we start the video guys, if you have any computer or software related problems, please feel free to contact us by visiting our website and using the submit a problem button and comment down below on a video about your problem and we'll make a video for you to resolve it. Number 1. Run services as administrator. The simplest solution to the grayed out startup type issue is to run the services manager as an administrator. Here's how you can do it. Search for services, right click the top results and select the run as administrator option. Then in the services window, find the service for which you want to change the startup type. Right click on service and select properties. After that, in the properties window, go to the general tab. Click on the startup type drop down menu and see if it's now accessible or not. If it's still grayed out, proceed to the next step. Step 2. You can also stop the services temporarily. A service that is already running can restrict changes to the startup type. In this situation, briefly stopping the service may allow this modification. Right click on start button and select run. Or you can also press window plus R. Type services.msc and press enter. In the services window, find the service for which you want to change the startup type. Choose stop from the menus option list. After that, click apply and then OK to apply the changes. Step 3. You can also modify some registry permissions. You might need to explicitly change the starting type in the registry editor if the previous methods haven't been able to fix grayed out startup type problem. You can alter many of Windows internal settings using this tool, including service configurations. For this, you have to follow some steps like press window plus R, type REGDIT and press enter to open the Windows registry editor. After that, navigate to the following key. Don't worry, we'll give the key in the description box. Look for BD deadline under services and click it. If you can't find it, make one by selecting new under key from the context menu, giving it the name BD deadline and clicking OK. Click new under DWORD 32-bit value from the context menu of the right click blank space in the right panel. After that, create a DWORD value and give it to the name delayed auto start. Change the delayed auto start value data to suit your needs and then click OK to save the changes. For automatic start 2 and delayed auto start 0. For automatic delayed start, start 2 and delayed auto start 1. For manual start 3 and delayed auto start 0. For disabling start 4 and delayed auto start 0. Step 4. Use the command prompt to start or stop a service. There is a second way to stop and start the services if you can't do it by service window. You can start or stop services by running command lines if you frequently get the grayed out startup type error. Search for command prompt, right click the top results and select run as administrator option. To stop a service that you wish, enter this command line and hit enter. To start a service, enter the same command line and again click enter. Remember to change service name with the problematic service name. Step 5. You can also perform a SFC scan. Corrupted system files can lead to various Windows issues including the grayed out startup type problem. To check for and repair these files, you can use the built-in Windows system file checker SFC tool. Search for command prompt, right click the top result and select as run as administrator option. Type the following commands to perform a quick fix on your PC. SFC slash scan now. After that, be patient and wait till the scanning is complete and after that, check if your issue is fixed or not. Step 6. Scan for viruses and malware. Malware and viruses can cause the grayed out startup type problem. To check for issues, conduct a complete computer scan using an authorized antivirus or anti-malware tool. Make sure your antivirus software is up to date. You can also download a free malware detector tool. Malware viruses can tamper with system settings including services and limit your control over them. Running a thorough malware scan can help identify and remove any malicious software. Windows Defender, now known as Microsoft Defender Antivirus, is a built-in security feature in Windows operating systems, including Windows 11 and 10. It serves as a robust and comprehensive antivirus and anti-malware solution offering a range of features to protect your computer from various security threats. Windows Defender, the built-in antivirus program, is capable of performing the scan. Like, type Windows Security in the Windows search bar and select Windows Security from the results. After that, in the Windows Security window, 
click on viruses and threat protection. On the current threads, click on quick scan to perform a basic scan. For a more comprehensive scan, you can also choose full scan. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the scan. After that, if any threats are detected, Windows Defender will provide options to remove or quarantine them. After the scan is complete, restart the computer and check if the issue with the grayed out startup type is resolved or not. So this was it for the video guys. We hope this video helped you solve your problem. If it did, then make sure that you give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. And if it did not, then don't worry. Just comment down below the issue and we'll try to figure out what is wrong with your specific case. Thank you for watching.